Well, good morning and welcome back. Well, I'm working on the heating watering trough here. Um, got the nutrient water turned on, flooded the, the trough here. So that's kind of what it's going to do is set up about the height of the pipe, and that'll keep that water warm because we got hot water going through these three quarter pipe here. And then when I want to water, I'll just flood it and bring it up, you know, about there. And it'll be trays with holes in them, so that'll water them. But I've got a leak in my bulkhead fitting back here. So I'm going to have to go get another one. That one was an old one I had. And it might have a crack in it, so. And I put this cover on. Try to keep the, you know, the heat on heat in it during the night but I think it's going to be problematic with all the condensation that's getting up on here and if that's going to be dripping down on the microgreens that could cause some mold plus I got to be able to have a fan to blow across there so what I might try also is putting some rigid insulation and that would fit right across here and that would cover it you know during nighttime to keep warmth in there um, so still thinking about that so gotta get parts for that gotta get a part uh, see if I can find a heat control switch for the uh, tankless water heater so it will come on automatically at night and keep the temperature about 70 so right now the next project I'm going to start on is the air bubbler to wash microgreens let me show you that so here's a let's see 275 gallon IBC tank. This has a metal base. So what I'm going to do on this one, make a a bubbler to wash microgreens. I think I'm going to cut it down to about this level here, and then that'll be set up on a stand about waist high to be able to reach in and wash stuff. Similar to that one up there. Let me show you that. So this one I made is a washing for trays, um, and it works really well. Um, height is about right. Got some racks I can sit in here and wash. I use that for sanitizing to so wash the trays, power wash them out, and then throw them in there and let them soak. And I'm using an existing drain for it, but you can see how these are bottom of these plastic totes are not really made to drain everything out so you'll get water and dirt that sits in the side so for the air bubbler I'm going to do something different with it I'm going to put a drain a separate drain in the bottom and kind of pull it down so it will drain better so I've got some parts for it so this is a uh, just a regular kitchen strainer. So I'm going to use that. So that'll go through the plastic and then I'll be able to hook it on to this uh, inch and a half rubber boot to run for the drain line. And I got two of these because I'm going to use the nut off the other one to go on here and thread onto the bottom of the metal. I'll show you kind of what I'm thinking on that. And then this is going to be kind of the layout for the air bubbler. So I'll have air coming down through here. I'm going to go out, come out to both sides, run the length of it, and be a cap, and I'll put holes in those so the air comes up and stirs the microgreens. And that's the air blower I think I'm going to use. I bought that you know, a couple years ago from off of Craigslist, like $20. I was just going to use that as a backup air pump for my main one so I can reduce that down and just be able to switch it on when I need it and use that so I think that'll work so I'll get started on cutting that and go from there all right get the uh, plastic insert out I got it marked where I'm going to cut it so Usually use a jigsaw to cut that out. That works pretty good. 
and then the cage. I use the sawzall with the metal blade to cut the metal there. And you see how this bottom is? <clears throat> I'm going to run that drain down here. And what I'm thinking is I'm just going to cut the center support off. This part is not welded onto here. So I'm thinking I'm just going to cut it off here and there and take that out. And then that'll allow me to push that down to get kind of a swell in the bottom of the tank and then put my drain in there. I think that'll work best on that. This is a metal based tote. Some have a wood based tote. You can see that one there. A little different design. Some have a plastic. I think this is going to be the best one to use for it. So we'll go with that. All right. Well, I got that all cut out. <clears throat> I'm going to get it cleaned out now. Oh, I left this top on here might be able to use use that for a shell for hanging something we'll see so I'll leave it for now now you see how that center bows up these just aren't designed for draining out that drain very good so what I'm going to try to do is right in here I got that bottom support cut out and I bent it down a little bit. I think I'm going to bend it a little more and try to put my drain right there away from that center seam and pull it down. Let's see, where is... There it is. Sorry about that. <laughs> Rambling over across here. Try to push that down and get that drain to pull down on the bottom metal and bow it down so the water will run out there and drain better. So we'll see. Alright, well that's probably all going to get done today. And I'm going to go get some parts yet. So appreciate you watching and leave me any comments or and subscribe as always. So thanks a lot. Merry Christmas. Bye.